Hello, Scuba Lever, and welcome to episode number 65 of The Undiscovered Entrepreneur, and it's me, DJ Scoob. <laughs> Coming at you, whatever device you happen to be listening on. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the Scuba Lever of the Week, and the Scuba Lever of the Week is Cheyenne Hagen. I hope I pronounced that right. Cheyenne has been liking a couple of my reels, so I just want to highlight her. Thank you so much, for Cheyenne, for being a Scuba Lever. If you want to see anything about her, Look at the show notes because that's where we're going to be featuring her. Okay, today our brand new entrepreneur that we're featuring on Undiscovered Entrepreneur is Dara Lee. Now, Dara Lee is a new entrepreneur that's starting a brand new course to help you lose weight. Dara Lee has taken her experiences in losing weight to help you lose weight. So take a look at that. And we're going to be talking to her about a lot of other things along with her course. So we are now going to feature Dara Lee. Let's take a listen. Salutations, Scoob Believers, and we are here again with another brand spanking new entrepreneur. Today, we're here with Dara Lee. Hi, Dara Lee. Hi, how you doing, Jesse? Fantastic. Thank you so much for agreeing to be the Undiscovered Entrepreneur. I really appreciate you taking the time with us today. Great. All right. So I'm going to give you one kind of semi-serious question right off the bat. Okay, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Are you a Scoob Believer? Oh, yeah. You better believe it. I'm a Scoob Believer. Oh, thank you so much, Dara Lee. I really appreciate that. All right. So just give us a little idea about who you are and what your entrepreneur adventure is and how long you've been doing the most recent one. Okay, great. So I spent my career mostly in education. I was a teacher and then became a school principal, retired about a year and a half ago. And I decided about six months ago that I wanted to start a coaching course um, which I've coined ditch the diet because what had happened was I started when I retired, I knew that I had some excess weight and I had tried multiple times over the years to lose weight and I've lost weight and put it back on and lost, put it back on and tried different supplements and whatnot. And I wanted to get to the core of what could I do without using supplements to just get this weight and get it off for good. And after I had lost about 35 pounds, I said, I started sharing it with some friends and they said, this is great. And then I just launched into a whole course and started getting clients and it's working out beautifully for me. Fantastic. It's it's nice that you take those life experiences and kind of mold them into something that's a part of you and what you could do to help others. Yeah, that's. I think that's what probably makes the best kind of businesses when it's something that that you can be passionate about yourself because it's something that you've gone through, you understand what it takes to get there and what it takes when you fall down and how to pick yourself back up. And yeah, those are typically the best kind of businesses to start, I think. All right. Yeah, same thing for me too. A lot of the things that I do, I take kind of personal things about myself and incorporate into everything that I do my life's experiences, even with my logo, who's, this is actually made from my daughter. This is Scooby-Doo as a pug, because I can't do Scooby-Doo in <laughs> space. So we turned Scooby-Doo into a pug, and he's wearing the piano tie, and I'm wearing a piano tie too. So Very cool. And all of this, if you get if you ever get into any of my backstory, there's a reason why I have all these things, but we could talk about that later. All right. Okay. I think you might have answered this question already, but I'm going to ask it again anyway. But what actually made you want to start your business? It was you had this uh, weight problem and you started. But was that really what actually got it all started? Honestly, what got it started is I knew when I retired that I wanted to do something. I wanted to be of service. I'm not somebody to just sit around and just do nothing. And I was actually visiting with a number of friends of mine who some were younger, some maybe right around my age. And whose health I saw just had deteriorated so much since I had last seen them. And it really made me realize I just turned 65. So I knew that people my age and a little younger, if we don't take care of our body now, like it's just real quick downhill. And that was really what really was like inspiring to me that I knew I wanted to help people in some way along the health and wellness kind of train. And then all of a sudden the weight loss thing happened. And so that's how it morphed into that. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Yeah. 
when you were just getting started, was there a few pitfalls or problems that you actually encountered as you were getting started there? Yeah, I think the biggest pitfall, Jesse, is really finding the clients, like finding the people who want to take that plunge and, and pay for the personal coaching that I offered. So that was the biggest uh, challenge. Yeah, and I faced that same problem too, because I am an entrepreneur coach. And it's really hard to find people that are willing to even just be a client in itself. They're really hard to find. But once you actually do, they match your personality and that kind of thing. I, I love it. It's amazing to be able to help that type of person have that transformation that they're really looking for and help them along doing that. Yeah, it really is very rewarding to, like you said, to see people actually make those changes when they really buy into what you've got, like your philosophy and what you're teaching and how you're teaching it. And they really adapt it. And it's just so exciting to see them take off. That's yeah. fun. Gives you that nice warm, fuzzy feeling in your chest there. That's, oh, I hold them out. That is so great. <laughs> and to see that change. So how are we actually finding guests? How if guests? <laughs> that's mine. That's, <laughs> that's me. Yours. That's not you. Yes. How are we actually finding clients right now? So what I'm doing is I'm going on podcasts. Okay. That's one thing. And I actually, I do my own webinar series. I have that going on right now. And I go into other Facebook groups and I try to really just provide content, provide solutions when people are looking for saying that they have different challenges. And then from there, as I friend people that are like looking, then they'll come to me and say, I'm looking to lose weight. Can you help me? So rather than me having to say, Hey, do you want to lose weight? I'm just giving tips in different like mom groups and female entrepreneur groups, things like that, providing value. And then people will then come to me. Yeah, that's what I do too. When I go into these Facebook groups, sometimes it's even Reddit groups, and I'll see a question that's asked that I know the answer to, and I'll just go ahead and give that answer. So, oh, yeah, I know all about this, blah, 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 blah. And so you, we start we start getting that trust from these people, realizing that we're actually people. We're not there just to scam anybody. We're actually there to help. And once we actually gain that trust, then something comes along, then you'll get like a comment, I need help with this. So I have a service for that. And that exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it just goes from there. I, I've actually gotten a couple of clients that same way too. So that's really a really great strategy. And, but all, ultimately in the very end, we're actually here to help other people. Yeah. Always here to help other people. I think that's what we're here for. Yeah. We're here to help others. That's I've always, as a teacher, as a principal, it's been about service. It's really been about serving other people. And that's why we're here. I, I believe that's why we're here. Absolutely. That's what we do as entrepreneurs. As you're going along, did you have any influences or did you have any people that inspired you or to help you keep moving forward? Anybody like that? Any mentors or anything like that? Yeah, I hired a coach. I think it's really important for somebody to find a coach that they can work with that can help them in this entrepreneurial space. And then I also, I have for years, I have listened to the great motivational speakers, Jim Rohn and Tony Robbins. And right now, one of my favorite is Rob Dial. I don't know if you're familiar with him. He's got a podcast called The Mindset Mentor. He's uh, really good just because mindset in I, I incorporate mindset into my program as well but as, as an entrepreneur like it's one thing to be a good employee it's a totally different mindset to be a good entrepreneur and to be able to really keep yourself on track and keep yourself pushing forward when that boulder is sometimes really big and really tough to push and you gotta just have enough mental fortitude to keep going forward. And we'll call that mental muscle because that's what yeah. you need to be able to move that boulder. It's a different type of boulder. It could be made of all kinds of things, but we have to be the one to push that boulder out of the way to get to the cave where we have our ex our entrepreneur adventure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We a whole book, Good way to put it. Roll's book series on that. That's cool. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> but yeah, Rob, what was his, what was the last name? Rob what? Dial. D-I-A-L. Yep. Yes. It's called the Mindset Mentor. We're actually going to go ahead and link that 
uh, podcast in the show notes because I'm actually curious about that. I'm sure if anybody wants okay. to hear what he has to say, yeah. that would uh, be a great resource right there. So that's awesome. Thank you for great. that. I appreciate it. You're that. welcome. Absolutely. So this is one of my favorite questions and I get a different answer every time, but when will you've made it? When do you think you've gotten to that pinnacle point where you said, this is exactly where I wanted to be at this time? What does that look like to you, Dar- Lee? What that looks like to me is when I have a full-blown course that people will purchase and use to actually get themselves on track to a healthier them and a number one bestseller on the New York Times list. Oh, somebody's thinking about a book. I have, definitely have a book. I'm working on it now. Yeah. Do you have a title for it yet? Yeah, it's Ditch the Diet. Oh, it's, well, <laughs> duh. it's Ditch the Diet, Lose Weight for Good. Yep, that's there it. There you go. Oh, yeah. I want to, I'm going to keep up on that. I want to I want to see okay. that book when that comes out. That'd be amazing. Okay, the e-book, the e-book will be out by the end of the month, and I'll shoot you a copy when I get it, when that's ready. And then, yep, a full-blown book should be out by the end of the this year, 2024. That's my goal. Awesome. When that comes out, make sure you drop, you uh, drop me a link. I'll put that in the show notes too. So people can look at it when it's ready. Okay. Super. All right. I'm glad I can help <laughs> out. That's amazing. Yeah, That's great. All right. Let's just say, for example, that you meet someone that wants to have a similar or the same entrepreneur adventure as you. What kind of steps would you have them do? What kind of things would you have them do? I think one of the first things people need to do is really figure out why they want to do this entrepreneurial journey. What is what is their purpose for it? And to really find themselves a good mentor, whoever that is, because you can spend you've probably done it yourself, hundreds, thousands of dollars on different programs and whatnot. But I think the money is much better spent on a human being that can actually coach you through the steps that you really need. It might cost you a little bit more, but I'll tell you, I had, I've i been working with a coach now for a little over a year and I can reach out to her anytime and she can help me with all kinds of things, whether it's just how to do some of the technical stuff, because sometimes I would get hung up in that, like how to create a funnel and how to just link all of my uh, emails in the right sequence and all of those kind of things that you need to do as an entrepreneur that you don't think of. Cause so you're thinking about your actual program, but there's all these other bits and pieces. And if whatever those pieces are that you need the support with, I think having a coach is just key to that. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to, it's more of an investment in yourself more than thing, anything else. Yeah, you're going to cost a little bit more to talk to an actual human, but it, it just connects better than having to watch a video or read something along those lines. That's all helpful too. But sure. I think the best connection, and you learn a lot faster with somebody who is actually has an emotion, has feelings, has you can actually talk to as a human and not a robot. And it's all an investment in yourself too. So don't be afraid to pay maybe just a little teeny tiny bit more to have an actual person to talk to yeah absolutely i people don't think anything of spending 30 40 50 100 thousand dollars for a college education but yet they're afraid to spend five or ten thousand dollars on a year's worth of quality coaching or something so yeah it's definitely well worth it all right awesome I, I like doing this kind of little comparison question. I love this. And I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. But if I was looking to hire somebody for you and your services, let's say, and I have one or two other people that have similar experience, costs pretty much the same, what would set you apart from everybody else? What would set me apart is that I provide daily coaching, believe it or not. I provide one-on-one. I use Marco Polo. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, it's like a video app. So anybody that I work with has access to me on a daily basis. And my program is like all-inclusive. It, it, it's about the food you eat. You're, it's about your mental um, wellness and it's about your movement. And I provide it's considered an all-in-one package. I actually provide the food to people so they can actually start eating. I've partnered myself with a food company and it's clean food. I'm all about eating clean. I don't eat it. highly processed foods because that's 
if you want to maintain a, a high energy, if you want to really lose weight healthfully, you've got to eat just real whole foods. So you, and so I teach people how to cook. I provide actual cookware for them if they need it. And it's, yeah. So I set them up for total success right from the beginning for that's what I do. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. That's an important part of me for me too. I noticed that when I changed my diet, I never used to be, I used to be pretty big, but uh, as soon as I changed my diet, just to something that's a little more wholesome and not so much fast food or quick food or microwave food or anything like that, I saw a change right away. I think one of my biggest changes where I stopped drinking soda. Yeah. And just stopped it's... drinking soda, I dropped weight. I don't under and now that I look into it, it's like, why do I want to just drink my calories? Because that's all you're really doing at that point. Right. Yeah, it's really you're just pouring sugar in your mouth. It's it, because there's no nutrients, there's no real value to it. I had actually one of my clients recently, she was really she was drinking diet soda she thought that's not so bad it still it gives you that desire for that sweetness and so then she was still munching on swizzlers during the day different things like that and we got all of that cut out and again she just started feeling better had more energy lost the weight it's just amazing it's in and the energy entrepreneurs really need that good, pure energy to keep going, especially you even work a full-time job in addition to being an entrepreneur and you're juggling so many things, you've got to have the right fuel in order to be able to continue to maintain uh, long-term. Yeah. One of the main things I talk about too, is how much we really need to feed our brain more than anything else. So we can have these ideas. So we have a clear idea. And when we have ideas, we can implement those right away. If there's something we need to remember that's really important or profound for us, we need to be able to keep that in our head until we could write it down somewhere or anything like that. One of the best tools that we have as entrepreneurs is our brains. So we have yeah. to keep that brain healthy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's why I'm always feeding my brain. Besides feeding my body, which feeds my brain, I always fill myself with a uh, positive mindset. I, I, that's why I love that podcast. There's others that I listen to, or I listen to the audio book. So when I take my walk, I always have my earbuds in and I'm listening to an audio while I'm out walking or I have a plane while I'm cleaning house or whatever I'm doing. If it's something that I can listen to while I'm also doing something else than I do, because there's, we are often, so we're surrounded by a lot of negative stuff too, right? Just life in general. And in, in, if, if you work an outside job, if you listen to the news, if you are plugged into any of that stuff, you need to counteract that with some good positive um, stuff going in. Yeah, there's a lot of negative stuff that's happening out right now. But just like you say, we have to counter it a little bit, just so it doesn't like almost rot our brain to, to just so much negative stuff where we don't even want to do what we do anymore because there's so much negative, so many negative things around us. And I actually did something very similar. One of, I actually have two full-time jobs. And one of those jobs, I basically, I, I work at a hospital and all I do is carry trash around all day, but nobody bothers me. So I just stick some earbuds in. Nobody ever talks to me anyway, because I'm the trash guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I just do constant education to myself for eight hours every day. I listen to books, listen to podcasts and that kind of thing too. So it works. <laughs> Good for you. That's a great way to do it for sure. All right. So I'm going to transition to the next question here real quick. And this is actually one of my favorite questions, but uh, I did steal this from another podcast. So sorry, everybody. But what is one question you wish I would have asked you but didn't? I always miss one that's really good that everybody prepares themselves for, but I never get around to asking. So what is that one question that you wish I asked? One you? question. Let me see. The one question that you didn't ask me is, wow, I I guess like where to find me, how to get a hold of me and how to reach out and, and jump on board with me. But maybe you were going to ask me that one too. You're going um, to have to pick a different one. Because that's, that's <laughs> you were going to ask me that one. Huh? <laughs> all right. All right. If somebody wanted to be a part of my group, how could they get into that? Because I, that's where I do a lot of my coaching. I do free group coaching and it's a great place for people to discover where I am and what my program is all about. And they get a flavor for that before they decide whether they would like to hire me like as a coach for them. That is, I have a group, it's called Ditch the Diet with Dara Lee. And it's a Facebook group. 
And like I said, I just finished up actually before I jumped on with you. I do a, a weekly group training in there and it's always a, a different topic all based on my philosophy of what we, you know, what you need to do to truly ditch the diet and lose the weight for good. That's awesome. We'll actually have a link to that in the show notes, everybody, if you don't mind, is that okay? That'd be great. That'd be super. Yeah. Thank you. Everybody can reach out to you and join that group and see what you have to offer. Okay. That'd be super. Thanks. All right. I do this with all my guests. In the next six months, where do you see yourself in your company? Do you have a goal for yourself to set for yourself in the next six months? Yeah. In the next six months, I want to have been speaking on a minimum of 48 stages. So that could be either podcasts or virtual events. I've already got a couple of virtual summits and even some live events. I'm looking to actually get on and speak in front of uh, people for live events as well. All right. So what I'd like to do with you, Daryl Lee, is the next six months, I'd like to reach out to you again. Great. Have you on another podcast? I want to see 48 stages. I'm all right. I I definitely want to see that number now. So we're going to hold you accountable, not just me, but uh, my entire audience. (laughs) All right. Sounds good. (laughs) No pressure. (laughs) All right. And we'll see how that goes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now this is your time to shine. I want you to go ahead and talk, speak about yourself and how we get a hold of you. If we want to hear about what you have to offer. Okay, great. So you can find me again, mostly on Facebook, but I am also on Instagram, TikTok. I have a YouTube channel. It's always Dara Lee Simmons. I have a website. It's DaraLeeSimmons.com. That's where you can find me. I'm always posting content everywhere. And that's the best way you can just reach out to me there through Messenger and find me on Facebook. All right. Fantastic. All right, Daryl Lee, thank you so much for being on the Undiscovered Entrepreneur. I really appreciate you taking the time with us and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. All right. And thank you so much, Jesse. I really appreciate you having me on. It was great to chat with you and share this with your audience. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting this episode out. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on the Undiscovered Entrepreneur. I can't even say my own podcast name. (laughs) Undiscovered Entrepreneur. Stay tuned for the wrap up. Okay, everybody. Thank you. (laughs) Bye-bye. (laughs) Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Daryl Lee. Daryl Lee has some great insights on health and mindset. I'm really glad we were able to go over those things with you. And, uh, just really kind of keep thinking about different ways to keep your mind and body healthy because you can't have those great ideas. You can't have those, those aha moments or anything like that, unless your brain and body is ready to have them. If you're not physically ready to have those, they're not going to come. And if you do come, they're going to go way too quick and you're going to forget about them. So always keep in mind that you got to keep your brain, you got to keep your body healthy and ready to go. Uh, Daryl Lee is going to have that course out. Those, the uh, link will be in the show notes. If you want to take advantage of that course, that's where they're going to be. If you go down there and they're not there, she hasn't made it yet. She hasn't finished it yet. She said she was in six months in. So check back. They will be there eventually. All right. So Darlie, thank you so much for being on the Undiscovered Entrepreneur. Okay. So a little bit more about me and what I'm doing right now. Uh, February 13th will be part two of my Facebook and YouTube talk that I have going on right now. If you go onto Facebook or onto YouTube, you will be able to set that up. That should be ready for you to look up and get notifications when that is ready to go. So please, by all means, take a look into that. I want to be able to help you as much as I can talk about across the start line. Uh, If you want to take advantage of the giveaway there, I'm going to give it to you now. And that's at tuepodcast.net backslash start line. And that gives you access to my book, Getting Across the Start Line. And uh, as I'm writing it, I will be updating it for you. So by the time I'm done, you will have the full book written out for you. So for free. So take advantage of that if you'd like to. Also take advantage of the AI prompts that I have out right now. I'm going to give that to you tuepodcast.net backslash AI prompt to help you get across the start line. Get those ideas go and get the juices flowing about your entrepreneurial adventure and what that means to you. Also, just so you know, (laughs) 
Uh, this episode will be out February 6th. My birthday is February 8th, so happy birthday to me. I just wanted to get that in there somewhere. <laughs> I also wanted to make sure that you're enjoying uh, Undiscovered Advice. That seems to be getting a lot of uh, traction right now. Listening to advice from other entrepreneurs, just little tidbits of information. Just keep listening to that. There's some amazing things going on there. So stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to the podcast if you want to keep getting all the great information. And also, I would like to ask you just one quick question here to my school believers. What entrepreneurs would you like to hear from? Is there a specific entrepreneur that you would love to hear from in a specific subject? Whether it be like bookkeeping or music or anything along those lines that take an entrepreneur adventure that you are thinking about taking yourself, but you want to hear more information about, contact me on Twitter. Twitter or X or whatever it is at DJ Scoob 2021. Also in the show notes, I will include my link tree, L A N K T R dot E E backslash DJ Scoob. So you can reach out to me in any of the social medias that I have. Answer that question for me. I would really appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much. And the next episode you will be listening to will be a coaching. So thank you very much. And you all have a great evening. Goodbye. <laughs>